Imagine a universe where everything is made of the opposite of what we know, an inverted world of antimatter. But what happens when this strange substance meets the matter we're familiar with? In today's video, we'll explore the fascinating interaction between antimatter and matter. Before we dive into antimatter, let's quickly define matter. Matter is everything around us. Solids, liquids, gases, made up of atoms. Atoms themselves consist of protons, neutrons, and electrons. But what if we could reverse these particles? Antimatter is exactly that. Each particle of matter has a mirror image counterpart in antimatter. For example, a proton's counterpart is an antiproton, carrying a negative charge instead of positive, and an electron's counterpart is a positron, which carries a positive charge instead of negative. So, matter and antimatter are nearly identical, but have opposite charges. This leads to one of the most incredible reactions in physics. When matter meets antimatter, they annihilate each other. When a particle of matter collides with its antimatter counterpart, they destroy each other in a process called annihilation. This process releases an enormous amount of energy, following Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. Even a small amount of matter can unleash vast energy. The energy produced by annihilation is truly immense. A single gram of antimatter reacting with a gram of matter could release as much energy as a nuclear explosion, roughly 43 kilotons of TNT. It's one of the most efficient energy releases known to science. But if antimatter is so powerful, why don't we see it in everyday life? In the early universe, matter and antimatter were produced in equal amounts. However, for reasons we still don't fully understand, our universe ended up with far more matter than antimatter. This mystery is one of the biggest questions in cosmology. While naturally occurring antimatter is rare, it does exist. Antimatter can be found in cosmic rays and is even produced in particle accelerators, like those at CERN. Medical devices, such as PET scans, also utilize antimatter in controlled environments. Harnessing antimatter for energy, or even as a fuel for space travel, is an exciting concept. Theoretically, antimatter could power spacecraft, allowing them to travel vast distances. However, producing and storing antimatter is incredibly challenging and requires immense amounts of energy. Antimatter is a mirror image of the universe we know, and its interaction with matter is one of the most energetic events in physics. While it's mostly a scientific curiosity today, antimatter has the potential to unlock new energy sources and help us understand the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more fascinating explorations into the universe's mysteries, and let us know in the comments what topic you'd like to see next.